Good morning and welcome to a teachable moment. Who was John the Baptist? Most of us know from the Gospels that he was Jesus' cousin, about the same age, that he had a tremendous following in first century Palestine, and that Jesus began his public ministry with baptism by John in the River Jordan. John is a fascinating figure and has been the subject of veneration since his lifetime. In an unbroken history, he is today revered not only by Christians, of course, of all denominations, but also Muslims, Mandians, Baha'i, and other religious traditions. But he is also the subject of great historical interest among even secular scholars of first century Palestine. It appears from the gospel texts, which were all composed in the first century, as well as other writings and traditions from the first century, that John the Baptist was truly an enormous public figure until his death around the year 30, when he was beheaded at the behest of King Herod. In those days, many revolutionary and zealous religious figures presented themselves to the Jewish people. It was a time of great political and spiritual unrest. You might easily see that the executions of John the Baptist and then Jesus signal the beginning of some four decades of strife, which culminate in the Jewish revolt against Rome in the mid-60s and the destruction of the entire region by the Romans who destroyed the temple in Jerusalem and essentially killed everyone in the region who was Jewish by the year 70. Yet, in a crowded field of prophetic and even messianic pretenders, John's reputation as a man of God and a real prophet was seen as so legitimate that the Jewish historian Josephus makes specific mention of him. Josephus is a fascinating example himself of those times. He was reared in a pious Jewish family, eventually trained as a Pharisee, a rabbi like St. Paul and many of the early Christian leaders. And he took up arms against Rome in active rebellion. Josephus However, seeing the futility of fighting Rome, abandoned the cause and fled to Rome where he befriended the imperial house and became a Roman citizen, enriched and empowered to write books about the Jews for the very Rome that had conquered them and nearly wiped them out. Interestingly, Before becoming a Pharisee, Josephus recounts how, as a teenager, he studied under an ascetic figure named Banus, who lived in the wild, ate natural things, dressed like a caveman, and washed frequently in the river as a spiritual practice of cleansing. It is widely thought that this Banus was either a follower of John the Baptist or was perhaps the Baptist himself. Later on, Josephus mentions John the Baptist directly. He writes, Some of the Jews thought that the destruction of Herod's army came from God as a punishment for what Herod did against John. That was called the Baptist. Herod slew him, who was a good man, who had only commanded the Jews to exercise virtue toward one another and piety toward God, 
and to come to baptism. John the Baptist, a true historical giant, and in my view, and I believe the view of the Christian faith, the last prophet, and the final prophet to point to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Thank you.